Marcos, Mark chapter 3. And he went into the congregation again, and a man who had a withered hand was there. And they were watching him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, so as to accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, Get up to the middle. And he said to them, Is it right to do good on the Sabbath, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they remained silent. And having looked around on them with displeasure, being grieved at the hardness of their hearts, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored as healthy as the other. And the Pharisees went out and immediately plotted with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. But Yeshua withdrew with his top ones to the sea. And a great crowd from Galileo followed him, and from Yehuda, even from Jerusalem, and from Edom, and beyond the Jordan, and those around Sor and Sidon. A large crowd came to him when they heard how much he was doing. And he spoke to his taught ones that a small boat should be kept ready <clears throat> for him because of the crowd, lest they should press upon him. For he healed many, so that as many as had afflictions fell upon him to touch him. And the unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried out, saying, You are the son of Elohim. But he warned them many times that they should not make him known. And he went up on the mountain and called to him whom he wished, and they came to him, and he appointed twelve to be with him, and to be sent out to proclaim, and to possess authority to heal sicknesses, and to cast out demons. And he appointed the twelve, Shimon, to whom he added the name Kepha, and Yaakov, the son of Zabdi, and Yohanan, the brother of Yaakov, to whom he added the name Beni Reges, that is, sons of thunder, and Andri, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matityahu, and Toma, and Yaakov, son of Alphai, and Tarai, and Shimon the Canaanite, and Yehuda from Kerioth, who did also deliver him up. And they went into a house, and again the crowd came together so that they were unable even to eat bread. And when his relatives heard about this, they went out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebub, and he cast out demons by the ruler of the demons. And calling them near, he said to them in parables, How is Satan able to cast out Satan? And if a rain is divided against itself, that rain is unable to stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house is unable to stand. And if Satan has ra risen up against himself and is divided, he is unable to stand but has an end. No one is able to enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man, and then he shall plunder his house. Truly I say to you, all the sins shall be forgiven the sin sons of men and whatever blasphemies they speak. But he who blasphemes against the set-apart spirit has no forgiveness forever, but is subject to everlasting judgment, because, they said, he has an unclean spirit. And his brothers and his mother came, and standing outside, they sent to him, calling him. And a crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, See, your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. But he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brothers? And looking about on those sitting around him, he said, See, my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the desire of Elohim is my brother and my sister and my mother.